So here we are. The uh, ye olde brown cow. And so basically what had happened there, well actually I brought it into town with me um, when we moved obviously. Uh, I drove it around quite a bit, truth be known. Um, this is a reference here from what I was telling you about last weekend. There used to be a car right here. Actually, there still is a car, but you used to be able to see the whole thing. And that snow came through here and just completely drifted over everything. And the snow is rock hard. Kind of made a mess of shit. But back to uh, what we're here to do. Oh my. Well, let's hope that this thing will go. I'm going to get a battery in it. And uh, I guess that's the first place to start. I know that both the front tires are flat. The valve stems are rotted out. Hadn't been started in... Uh, uh, been a little over a year. I had borrowed it to a guy um, that I had working for me and uh then he left and it got parked and i just never really did anything else with it but poor old thing's just been sitting here kind of dejected so but at any rate let's get a battery in it and see if we can't make it go well i got battery in it i'm gonna try it without uh gonna try it without um, priming it first just see what happens here i guess but i don't have a whole bunch of hope guess we'll see Tried to pump it and my throttle stuck. Damn throttle keeps sticking. I got a pretty screaming suspicion we're gonna have to go ahead and prime this thing. But let's go ahead and take the air cleaner off so I can at least get to that damn sticky throttle. I'm kind of surprised it's turning over. I got a bunch of snow packed up in here. Shelby, get down. As you can see, it also got that four barrel that I kept talking about doing. <sighs> but I never did get it tuned in just right and 
I still got to wire up the choke and a couple other things, so got a little bit of work left to do, but let's go ahead and try it again. I guess we'll give it a shot to something to try and help it out a bit. That throttle stick is a little irritating. I think I need a little stronger spring on this something. But here, let's uh put a little something down the throat. It's just sea foam, no gas. I have to walk back to the shop and get some gas, but that should give it something. Maybe we're going to need something a little stronger than sea foam. I thought maybe sea foam would do the trick, but I'll have to go fill a can with some gas and, and uh, yeah. Try it one more time just for kicks and laughs. Well, I'm going to go back and get something a little stouter, maybe. <clears throat> See if we can't get this guy to go. Okay, got a little bit of real gas. I'm going to fill the bowls up a little bit. See if we can't get her to take off. Give her a dash. And uh, I guess here we go. It wants to. Probably flooded it out or something with that sea foam. We'll put a little bit more gas in here. Yeah, that's probably the wrong thing to do, but we're going to give it a shot. Now, too. Come on. 
dang thing almost acts like it's not getting gas pumped up. almost out of gas in my jug too, so it better go quick. There you have it the Bronco lives huh now we just got to work on trying to get fuel up to the bowls and uh, taking the ether can away from Shelby and getting it to start and run for a little longer and then getting it out of this snowy mess that we got Well, at the very least, you guys get to hear it run. So now I gotta go, I think maybe I don't have any gas in the tank, we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna go get some gas, put it in the tank, see if I can't get some fuel up to the carburetor and see if I can't get this thing out of this drift that it's in so I can put some tires on it. So, let's keep moving on. Okay, satisfy all you pedal pumpers out here. Um, I got some gas in it now. Uh, primed up the carburetor again. We're gonna see if we can't uh, see if we can't make this thing stay a little bit more consistently running, so we can get it out of the snowbank. There you go. Well, there we go. Now, let's work on getting her out. 